Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm on the island of Tenerife and since a lot of people asked about passion fruit in Tenerife, here they are. By the way, I'm on the north coast of Tenerife in a place called El Charco del Viento near the village of La Guancha. Really beautiful, wild, well, you, can, you cannot call it a beach, but it's a place where people swim and sunbathe. Well, about passion fruit in the Canary Islands. The good thing is, they are being grown everywhere, they are being sold everywhere, at least on the Western Islands, including Gran Canaria. It's a little bit more difficult to find them on Fuerteventura and very hard to find them on Lanzarote, but on the other islands, they are everywhere. They also look very different. Well, most of them will look either like this, small yellow passion fruit or like this big yellow passion fruit and when I say big this is not one of the biggest actually one passion fruit here can get up to four or five hundred grams but uh, yeah I wanted to show you like the diversity of passion fruit so I couldn't buy the biggest ones and also those were all from one vendor so I just bought a uh, little bag full at one place well that's the good thing passion fruit are everywhere they are cheap they are fresh they are beautiful they are usually untreated if you are on the canary islands and you find passion fruit especially in the little shops and farmers markets and you're gonna find them everywhere buy them they are amazing well for exotic fruit hunters it might be a little bit disappointing and I guess if some uh, experienced fruit hunters are watching this video, they might see that this is all one species. The small ones, the big ones, the purple ones, the yellow ones, the wrinkled ones, the thick and plump ones, yeah, the elongated ones, the round ones, even this one, I guess this is an unripe one, the spotted ones, the clean colored ones, it's all one species. This is all Passiflora edulis. They have the purple varieties, they have the yellow varieties, they have giant varieties, some of them four or five times bigger than this one, but it's all Passiflora edulis. Finding other passion fruit, you see them in the gardens from time to time and on very rare occasions you see them on the markets. So this is all one species, Passiflora edulis. So basically, what shall you buy when you buy Passiflora edulis? Well, when you buy the big modern varieties, they're usually quite heavy. That's good. The heavy stuff is mostly seeds. But you can also get unlucky with them and get a rind, which is over a centimeter thick and quite heavy, so you get less value for money. Well, don't usually buy the more greenish ones because possible they got ripped off the vine underripe. Well, how sh uh, what shall you do to get the ripe passion fruit in the canneries? Well, don't buy something like that. This looks like a malnourished fruit which fell off early. It weighs almost nothing. It's almost like having a cotton ball in my hands. Yeah, this is a small but plump and heavy one. I guess most of the weight will be the edible seeds and not so much the non-edible rind so this would be pretty good value for money if you want sweet passion fruit buy something like this slightly wrinkled that means the juice around the seeds is more concentrated and more sweet also it is completely ripe well when you squeeze a passion fruit gently which you shouldn't do because the vendors won't like it and there is air or liquid escaping from tiny holes, leave it alone. This passion fruit has been attacked by insects and is most probably rotten by now. Let's try a couple of the passion fruit. I hope I will not cut off a couple of my fingers using a knife on those one-handed. The rind of passion fruit is basically like leather. That's why they are very good, they are very well prepared for 
long range transport and that's why they are being sold also in temperate areas what oh see I told you this one is probably unripe well there are several issues with this one the main is it's unripe there is no liquid around the seeds basically this is not edible and the second issue is look at this heavy juicy rind this is over a centimeter thick and you are paying for all of this so this is well a nice additional color I bought it because of the color I was pretty sure this wouldn't be pretty good but it's a failure in both respects it's too green and even if it was ripe I would pay more money for the rind than for the fruit I guess this is the same variety I guess they have vines of different varieties in their gardens because they were selling those passion fruits together a lot of people sell just one type of passion fruit but a lot of them sell them together and if you ask them about varieties like with most fruit here they will not be able to tell you anything except if they bought the plant recently okay this one is nice and ripe beautiful orange color inside mmm yeah nice even pretty sweet and with some passion fruit flavor too let's try this one I'm not expecting a lot from this one opposite of this it, it's this one was green and heavy this one is wrinkled and light and yeah just what I expected this is again this is this has very few seeds mm. Yeah, pretty different taste, but still well within the passion fruit range, but very few seeds. The rind is quite light, but still you get basically no value for money here. There were five seeds in the fruit. This one, I think, might be the best in the bunch. Small, so the rind shouldn't be too thick. Already wrinkled, so that it should be really sweet. Let's see what we get here. Ah, okay, already coming out, nice bright yellow color. Mm. Mm. I was right. Yeah, this was the one I would have bought if I just wanted to buy them for eating and not for the video. And yeah, there is lots of seeds inside. Quite a thin rind, about less than four millimeters, I think very sweet very nice flavor this one should be quite good too it's already a little bit wrinkled the color is not purple enough so it could have fallen off the vine under ripe and just stayed on the ground for some time and get got wrinkled I'm not sure about that I have a good feeling but I'm not a hundred percent sure okay mm, nice and sweet and look at that best value for money yet quite big passion fruit thin rind well reasonably thin rind about five millimeters but it's stuffed to the brim with tasty seeds and the surrounding liquid mm, amazing I think this one is also pretty good small and purple already a bit wrinkled I still haven't cut my finger let's see if I can make it to the end of the video with ten fingers uh -huh. yeah this looks good too just as I expected less value for money but yeah with the small ones usually you'll uh, you will they will not be completely full with seeds this one is mmm nice taste pretty sweet this is a good one <coughs> let's try this quite small giant passion fruit those are those modern varieties which showed up here a couple years ago and uh, this year they also showed up in German supermarkets well the biggest issue with those one is if you get a bad one 
you usually don't have a lot of pickups. With that size, you usually buy only one or two. And if you get the bad one, you paid a lot of money and you um, brought the stuff home and you are without a good passion for it. But look at that. That shows you why those modern varieties are more popular. Pretty thin rind, about four millimeters, and almost full with tasty juice. I already lost a lot of the juice from this big one. Okay, it's not as sweet as some of the smaller ones, but it's also not very sour. So you can eat such a big one without any trouble. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so basically the ones where I expected they wouldn't be good, those two, they were not good, actually. They were worthless, basically. This one, where I wasn't sure, was actually quite good. And the other ones, this one, this one, this one, and this one, where I was sure I would pick something pretty good, were as good as I thought. I knew that this one would be a little bit less sweet than the small ones. Yeah, basically, I'm quite happy with uh, my picks. Everything I picked turned out more or less the way I expected it. So, folks, I hope I helped you a little bit with selecting passion fruit on Tenerife markets and little fruit shops. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Tenerife. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.